Today on Toy Shiz, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the entirety of the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman the Classic TV Series Batman 66 action figure lineup. So we have three action figures. We have the Joker, Cesar Romero, right? And then you have Burt Ward's Robin. Comes with a couple accessories, which I'm very excited about. I'll talk about that in just a few. And then we have Adam West's Batman. Now, just keep in mind, they're not going to appear here. I'm not really that interested in them. But there are three other variants. One for Batman, one for Robin, and one for Joker. Along with this new Batman 66 Batmobile and it is an open package in the store. I would say go through a couple if you can just make sure you get the best looking one. I lucked out no cracks no dings no windshield problems but those are the problems that I have seen but look at the colors on the box it's so eye-catching it's popping and of course I love that it says the Batmobile designed by George Barris. What a classic Batmobile and on the back side you see the Bat Cave which yeah, that's a playset for this whole Batman 66 Target exclusive ensemble. You get a bunch of different pieces. I just love the zany 60s color. If you never watched that show, please do. It's very near and dear to me. As a kid, I was just sat in front of that, told to watch it. <laughs> it was like daycare, right? But the cave is about 24 inches wide and it goes beep boop, beep boop, beep boop as according to the packaging there's no electronics in this but i'm very excited this is gonna be fun i've never had the previous company's batman 66 action figures so this is new for me but i'm definitely definitely excited so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot groovy cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new batman 66 the action figures the bat cave and the classic batmobile and just as a heads up, DC Fandom 2021 is coming your way October 16th. Stay tuned to my channel and my Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed because I'll have all the latest and greatest updates for everything DC Comics from toys to movie news. And of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And if you've never been one to collect action figures or anything else and you just want a really cool Batman 66 display, well, dag nab it. This is pretty dang cool i mean you get everything you get the playset basically you get the car and you get the action figures but we'll look at some of the pieces for the playset for 30 dollars you get a ton of pieces now everything is very hollow it's very simplistic it's very stickered right you don't have to do any of the stickers by the way it's all done for you thank god because i wouldn't be having any of that but you can see that yeah there are so many parts and pieces to this and you can fully customize your bat cave. You can put it every which way. It kind of just did it the way the box told me to do. But you got U.S. and international crime photos. And you got beep boop levers and everything else. But Robin, for the action figures, they're very simplistic. They're very low on the articulation. But for this sort of action figure and what we're going for, Batman 66, it's almost like these were made in the 60s today it's a really weird thing just to see this because they're really well done the cape i kind of take it or leave it i mean i wish it was a little bit different material but it's okay it fits so that you could put them in the batmobile and the articulation works for what it is single jointed elbows single jointed knees they do spin at the knees and the elbows you can spin them at the waist as well the arms will go up the legs will kick up no articulation in the feet but it just works, and I like the simplistic nature of this. Again, it just feels like these are very 60s toys, and you do get some articulation in the head. It just basically turns. There's no ball joints. There's none of that fancy articulation to these. They're just simplistic. And with Batman, I mean, that looks really cool. I love the paint on him. I love the bat symbol. I think the only thing wrong with mine, you can say the, the waist is a little bit high up. I'm trying to kind of push him down better on however he uh, fits together but the cape again not my favorite i like the reflective material i'm glad they went with that route but it's not the best material for capes i will just say but the articulation works he'll spin nice colors nice paint overall very happy with these because i like a very simplistic figure if it works in the totality 
of what you're going for, especially with Cesar Romero's Joker. Now, he doesn't have the little mustache where, I, where you put the paint over there. Everyone always talks about that. But again, nicely done, nicely sculpted. That looks like Batman, Robin, and the Joker. And Joker, he's a little bit tight in the joints. I'll tell you that. So I would say on all of these, just as, hey, a heads up, just go easy on all these. But I mean, you could technically put him in the Batmobile if you wanted to do that, right? He just looks cool. The Batmobile itself is pretty dang rad. For 20 bucks, you're getting a Batmobile, the classic 66 Batmobile. It's got a lot of paint to it. It's got the gizmos and the levers and everything else inside and on the top of the Batmobile you can see all these little parts and pieces that are sticking out they're very rubber so they're not going to break off on you the front of the car is nice I love the bat symbol and the tire spin you can see it's almost Kenner real Ghostbusters Ecto-1 in that sense very simplified but it works and I like the cockpit and the windshields and the back windshields and everything else and I'll show you, they do fit inside. And on the back side, I do wish that it did come with like a fire effect piece, you know, when they're taken off. That would have been really cool to see. But yeah, all four wheels spin and you take your figures. And this is where the simplistic nature of these come in. You just kind of fold his legs up. And just like old fashioned toys from I remember when I was a kid with Kenner and everything else, they just fit inside the Batmobile. And it's pretty easy peasy. Now, I will tell you this. For people wondering, for those of you that this is a stickler kind of thing, they don't exactly go all the way in. They're basically, this is as much as you're going to get them in. So it's not perfect. It doesn't scale perfectly with what I think a lot of people go for these days. But I'm incredibly happy. I think that just looks rad. They're driving down the street. Now to go over more parts of the cave. This is where that simplistic 60s style comes in. This turnstile area is just a piece of cardboard i like it and i mean at the same time i wish it was plastic of course there is a lot of plastic on this it's not like modern place that's where a bunch of it's cardboard it's all plastic you have to put everything in you'll see right here not every little bit fits right here on the gate is where i uh, kind of had some problems but these come off you can fit them in you can customize everything you move parts and pieces around if you want to do that I'm sure a lot of customizers out there can do some great things. You get the two bat poles, right, when they come down into the cave. These are not exactly my favorite. I mean, they work. And again, that's where, like, the simplistic 60s nature of this works. But then it also does it. These don't exactly hook on perfectly. It depends on how you, how you have the cave arranged. But in terms of the scaling for these guys... Joker's a little bit taller than Batman, which I guess works, but at the same time, I always think of Batman being taller. But the main problem, Batmobile aside, is that they're not exactly to scale with everything in the Batcave, as you can see. Yes, you can put Robin sliding down the pole if you want. You can have Batman making some cash if you wanted to go that route. But in terms of it fitting perfectly, you see where the gate is and it's they're a little bit too tall if they were more like three and three quarter inch i could see that fitting a little bit better and heck you know what yeah might as well go that route if you just wanted the cave i'm sure a lot of you have some figures out there for that but the best part about these figures is i love that they included the pow bam whammo little punching effects from the old television show and that is really cool to me because you're hooking them onto their wrist and it's like kapow or wham and then you got you know sock pow and ouch and joker goes flying into all the bat cave sort of deals and you can take a lot of great photos with this this one being uh, especially one that i'm proud of <laughs> in terms of other scaling for other batman figures like i said kenner stuff i would say that that works better because they're smaller scale but dc multiverse mattel and mcfarlane otherwise that's not gonna work and if you have one of those tiny tvs from basic fun toys and it just happens to be the batman 66 television which is why i got this i got this before long before i got the figures in fact i mean it's just a cool accessory to have these are perfect. They aren't, oh my god, the end all. We've seen other companies do this before, of course. But they're fun. And for under, well, it was supposed to be under 100 bucks, but I think Target changed the price on the action figures. They were supposed to be about 12 But for, let's say, 120 you get a full set of figures 
you get the bat cave and you get the car and that ain't too shabby at all especially in this day and age and dang damn it they look great together and just one thing i want to point out space is definitely an issue these days right a lot of us getting a lot of great toys no doubt everybody's making great stuff but as you can soon see you take all the parts and pieces i mean if you had to do this and pack it up put it into a bag put them all together and the bat cave folds up into basically quote unquote a carry case now it doesn't snap together it doesn't form fit but at least it condenses you can put all the pieces in there you can figure out a way to fit them all in there so on space issues and everything it's again kind of a carry case in that sense but it'll definitely save you on space. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at all the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman 66 Target exclusive action figure line. Figures, Batmobile, playset, cost you around eh, about the $120 mark. Maybe you can find them on clearance. Who knows? But in either sense, I think what I've seen is that a lot of older collectors or heck, people just fans of the Batman 66 cartoon show i mean what a gift set to give to somebody a birthday holiday something like that it's fantastic and again i'll reiterate the figures with the cave and with the batmobile are too tall right they're a little bit too big for the scaleage wise it's not terribly out of scale but it's not going to be perfect and i think that'll turn a few people off however i've seen other people use other figures for the batmobile i've seen other people use figures for just the bat cave so i think there's something here for everyone for myself, not having owned the classic 66 figures, Mattel or NECA or otherwise, I'm very happy with this. It's a gorgeous presentation piece just for your shelf. It's shelf candy. Somebody walks in, oh my god, that's the Batman's. It's instantly recognizable. So in that sense, they are a lot of fun. But just as a heads up, no, scalage-wise, it's going to be off a little bit. However, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Have you gotten these figures? Will you be getting them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now, these have been selling quite well. I will just tell you that. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw eh, some more figures later down the road. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.